you're welcome here. We're gonna go in and have a little tea. Because we're trainers! <laughs> tea, yes! She's too busy playing football. Yeah. You're like, no, I'm looking at Powerpuff Girls. I'm trying to get inspiration. <laughs> yeah, they they told us that we look like the Powerpuff Girls here, and then Carly was like, oh, because we were all so excited. So yeah, you're already looking. at Well, I'm trying to find a good picture. Of okay. Yeah. Really good. Guess what I got? Mango. Mango. <laughs> Which one is this? Fruit, fruit sensation. Fruit sensation. That's what I got as well. <laughs> this is my dance of like what drowsy looks like. Because he has these like really gross, creepy fingers. Like he wants to get in your drawers. And he's always just like, <laughs> He's so gross. Drowsy's really gross. And Toronto is full of drowsies. Oh, There's so many drowsies. You kind of remind me of salad figures. Yeah, totally. Drowsy wants to get all up in your drawers. Gross. Bad. They trying to get our drinks? <laughs> Shoot. Okay, so I am here playing Pokemon Go with Carly and her YouTube channel is Geeky Gorgeous. And I'm here with Laura. We all have seen before. She's lovely Laura on YouTube. Hey. So And I'm gonna ask them, we're all playing Pokemon Go. And I just caught Goldie. I also she just caught Goldie. She just popped up. But Carly has like a billion Goldies. They're apparently. all around my place. What is your team? Laura? Mystic! So these two are mystic. I am instinct because we're the underdog. Okay, listen. <laughs> we're the underdogs and we're gonna prevail. We're just doing our best out here. We're keeping it down out here. We're holding it down. And uh, instinct is for all the cool guys. I like how you're saying we're holding it down yet none of the gyms we've been We're holding it down in our hearts. Have you guys done gym battles? I and have, what's been your your feelings about that? I've done a couple gym battles, and I have won a couple, and then I could not hold that fort down. No cigar? No. So Laura is a gym leader. I'm a gym leader. I've gotten a lot of gyms, but I've also had instances where I've gone to gym, and I'll walk away, and it's already, it's like, already changing, yes. and I'm just like, Ugh. And then there's also a couple times when, I hate to admit this, okay. but like I walk by a gym, and it's white, so like someone else has beaten it, yeah. and I just like snuck in there and put my little game. Up and, uh, You're like, oh. but then the same thing has happened to me too. It happened at they a got you in, yeah. earlier today. So yeah. yeah, yeah. I have actually never done a gym before, ever. So I'm we're too gonna nervous. Have to find you a gym. No, I'm too nervous. My my precious pokes. Oh, they'll be fine. Your precious pokes. Who's your best Pokemon? My best Pokemon um, is uh, <laughs> a Cloyster, who's 830 CP. Cloyster's cute. No, I don't think he's cute at I all. I like Cloyster. But I have a really precious Growlithe, who I named Puffo. <laughs> I've yet to name mine. And I have um, an Eevee and a Vulpix who are my little babies, but really what I would like for my like star pupil to be is um, I have a horsey who I'm going to evolve into a Seedra. I want a horsey so bad! Because I'm, a, I'm an ice water trainer, so yeah. I feel like Seedra is a really good, it, especially in the original 150, I feel like that's a really good option. Well, well I'm a ice and uh, psychic, wasn't psychic. I? Psychic. Yeah. And my to, I always play with Slow, slow Bro. Okay. He's like the guy that I take over my gyms with. Nice. Um, and then I have Hypno as well. That's the thing, everybody in Toronto has Hypnos and Drowsies because that's yeah. all that there is here. But I evolved my Eevees into oh. oh! What levels are evolved. you guys? I am level 13. That's pretty good. 21. Laura's been playing before the Canadian release. I'm so. American, it's fine. I am actually married. You're a sinner. <laughs> Who's your least favorite Pokemon that you have? Who's my least favorite? Yeah. Oh, the list could go on and on. 
<laughs> so we caught a Pikachu in the middle of the street, yeah. and then we were driving oh, by, Pikachu. and I saw Slowbro, so I jumped out of the car and I walked down to the pier, mm -hmm. and I was trying to be really nonchalant about it. You were it. like, I'm not playing Pokemon. I'm not guys. playing Pokemon, because there was really like fancy people hanging out by the yacht, Yeah. and it's sitting right on the top. I wish uh, I took a screenshot. There's a Slowpoke here right now. What? No! Are you serious? That is like, that is Where? Fate. Where? Where? How does that I don't have it? a Slowpoke. Anyways, I caught it, but I'm trying the there, Pikachu. but he kept pop the No, no, slow bro. Okay. But he kept popping out of the Pokeball. Right. And I kept trying to do this really, really casually. It always looks like you're taking a picture. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, slow poke! Got him, got him, got him. Okay, and give, it, give him a raspberry. Give that little boy, that little baby okay. boy a raspberry. I'm trying to catch him right now. And then I look Did you up. Run away? No, whatever. It's a raspberry. Oh, yeah, raspberry. I got a raspberry. And then I look up and there's three other girls around me. And they're all, all going, stay in the ball, stay in the ball. <laughs> Oh my god, it's okay. Uh, have you had to deal with anybody in your life trying to make you feel bad for playing Pokemon Go? Or just who are like, uh, Pokemon Go, it's, people need to live their lives outside and stop playing video games all the time. Yeah, so. I have. You have? What about you? It, it brings people outside, it does that exactly. Is like, that what you say? When yeah, you say like, it's, I say that. Um, one of my roommates, he never would go outside, he wouldn't exercise, and now we go on long hikes. Long, long hikes. We go out together and it's yeah. hard together. And we've, we've explored so much. I'm new to Toronto, and yeah. I've learned so much about the city through Pokemon Go. Totally. Because I'm like, where is this cool thing? Like, <laughs> I would, wouldn't have found it otherwise. Yeah. Totally. Well, that's like Rob and I, we've... Oh! I'm hatching an egg! Oh my god, what <laughs> are you getting? Speak. What? Evie! <laughs> we've actually gone and explored where we live in our neighborhood. We've yeah. found so many cool places now, and we take the dog and we have lunch in the park. Oh, that's so and nice. We, yeah, we get takeout and we sit down in the park and we have lunch. It's really pretty. But in that situation that you're talking about, yeah. um, I've been in a group of people that are not into this at all. Yeah. And we're trying to tell them a little bit about it. So they ended up downloading the app. And, and then they all love it. went out together for a walk. Wow. And there was a group of people walking towards us. And they just ran up to us and went, Pokemon! And then we all hung out and played the game together. And I think it's just, yeah, again, yeah, social. Yeah, it's a great way to like meet people and talk to people. Cause totally. Go to and every time, every yeah. time I'm walking outside and I'm like, "You play Pokemon?" People are like, "Yeah, yeah Pokemon." Or like, yeah. "Can you find like the Eevee? Can you do you know where the Poliwag is?" Yeah, like, totally. Look at these guys. Look at they're these not pigeons. Pokemon. I'll get you. You go. Anyway, I really like this game, and it's really fun to like. I mean, on a weekend, we're like, "Hey, what should we do? Let's go catch some Pokemon." We made a whole day of it, yep. and it was so much fun. Let us know what you're uh, catching in your city. Like, what's the most popular Pokemon there, and what. Pokemon you're actually trying to find. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. You go. Shoot. <laughs>